hey guys welcome back to another video and today we're gonna take it easy laid back and I'm probably just hang out I want to be uh, cleaning up my airbrush I have been using this for a long period of time without having to clean it I have had a lot of jobs and continue using it over and over again and I like to take some time to clean all my stuff out and for everybody that's new here my name is Ernie and you're probably here because you want to either learn how to airbrush or you already know how to airbrush and I already have one and you want to continue uh, learning more about it so just a little quick bio about myself I'm a professional graphic designer but have been doing airbrush for a long time and this channel is pretty much dedicated uh, to doing some cool art and one-off pieces So the usual process for me after painting something is to uh, spray out the uh, airbrush using water or a mixture of uh, water and the special liquid that I use to kind of like, you know, remove as much paint as I can. And uh, if I know I'm going to be using the airbrush, um, you know, either the next day or that same day or shortly right, right thereafter, I don't usually clean it right away because I know I'm going to be using it for the next job. So I just run water through it so the anything that's inside kind of gets sprayed out and then the only thing that I uh, kind of wash are the little cups and for those little cups I just kind of rinse them under the uh, sink and try to get as much paint as I can and that's pretty much it so uh, this time around we're gonna do a deep clean because we have been using this for a long time like I said so the first thing is to disassemble the entire airbrush You can tell when you need to clean all your tools because it's not spraying um, smoothly or you have some sputtering happening or your you know, paint's not being sucked into the airbrush. So that's when you know either the cup or the airbrush itself is dirty and you want to give it a deep, deep clean. And to make this possible, here is my super weapon. Uh, tool it is a uh, ultrasonic jewelry cleaner and I got this on offer up it was a few bucks but even if you buy it new it's pretty affordable it's only like 30 or 40 dollars and it works really good essentially what you do is you put in your liquid drop in all your parts into that basket and it'll vibrate uh, very small pulsating vibrations and that'll loosen up the majority of the paint and of course the uh, the liquid that you put in there will also help it uh, either dissolve or remove all that excess uh, small little particle paints so out here in california we have a dollar tree and we also have um, the 99 cent store i don't know if out there in the midwest or the east coast you may have something similar some sort of uh, discount store and uh, i don't know if they sell this uh, there but uh, over here on the west coast they do sell this particular liquid it's called uh, awesome and they also make a secondary that actually make several different products but this other secondary that we're using is a degreaser which works really good as well so i really like these two products considering they are from the value store and um, i use them all around on the car and the house and of course here in the studio so i really like both of these products so i have been using these for a while and uh, they don't really cause any damage to the airbrush or the uh, rings inside so i'm going to take half um, and fill the entire i guess the little container area with half of awesome the yellow one and then half of the uh, degreaser as well and i set this to the maximum time which is i think like four minutes and 80 seconds or something like that and i leave it in there and i try to run a couple of cycles i'll do a, a lot of cycles to be honest with you and not only that but i'll try to leave it overnight if i can and do additional cycles the next day this way i can get the majority of that junk out of there uh, especially stuff that you cannot see it's in there uh, and with this if you let it soak it'll help out and then obviously if you continue running it uh, all that little particles are going to come out and really help clean your uh, airbrush from the inside out i'm going to be honest i think you should be doing this every single time you use the airbrush but uh, because I use it so much and I'm constantly running paint through it I probably use this uh, 
method of cleaning probably once every month and a half or so um, you can do it by hand but obviously it takes a little bit of time um, and uh, but I, I really like this uh, process it's just really something uh, I can kind of just leave there and let it soak and let it, let it do its job because I'm doing like I said a lot of different projects I'm trying to find a way to maximize my time so as this is cleaning I am able to jump on the computer and do some graphic design stuff and uh, of course it allows me to do other things as well I'm usually jumping from a project to project and running around and uh, I really would like to take the time to kind of run maybe like three good cycles and cleaning the solution in between those cycles but I really don't have time I just dump all the stuff in there let it run it through a whole bunch of cycles and then just kind of wash it out and continue doing um, the project so but uh, but yeah if you have the time um, you know try to wash all your stuff put it back in there with new solution fresh solution and give it a couple more cycles this way it really gets some of that you know junk out of there you can see there in the water it's kind of floating around there's a lot of paint in there and uh, you can use additional tools or little brushes to get the excess um, paint out of there so if you're thinking about airbrushing the one thing you really have to consider is knowing and being okay with taking the time to clean the airbrush because these is uh these airbrushes like they if you don't clean them like right after you're done and they get clogged man it's a nightmare to clean you'll be so frustrated because you have like let's say you're motivated to do some sort of artwork and you go and use it and you forgot to clean it the night before um, you're gonna struggle and you're gonna spend another 30 minutes before you even start painting to try to get all that stuff cleaned out and uh, it just becomes a mess so um, just know that when you're starting to airbrush or when you do decide to start to airbrush you will have cleaning time um, you will spill uh, paint around uh, your studio so be prepared to clean that up or have you know an area specifically for airbrushing this way you don't have to worry about um, you know having to clean all the time um, so yeah just just keep that in mind when you're uh, starting to airbrush let me know if you guys are liking this video I would like to show you guys more of the um, other equipment that I have not only for airbrushing for other things that I do and I want to show you some tips that I, that I kind of you know figure out myself um, in the long run so uh, let me know if you guys like that kind of content and I'll do more of those. And just a side note, the majority of the stuff that I do is um, acrylic base. So all the paints that I use are water based. And uh, that's why I'm able to use the awesome and the uh, degreaser there. Uh, if you're using like enamel paints, obviously you're using like thinner and, and um, uh, mineral spirits. So at that point I recommend to buy a secondary jewelry cleaner if your wife wants to clean their jewelry just keep it separate this way you don't have to damage her stuff so just keep that in mind and of course if you are using harsh chemicals I recommend removing all your o-rings and of course putting this outside this way if there's additional vapors coming out of that uh, ultrasonic they don't stay inside and harm your lungs all we got to do now is uh, dry everything off I usually just kind of let the stuff Set it outside and uh, let it uh, dry out for a little bit. Um, obviously, I cannot get inside the small little nooks and crannies of the cup or the airbrush, so I kind of just sit, let it sit outside and uh, dry off. So, uh, just assemble everything back. I always lube everything um, this way, I don't have an issue once I start using the airbrush. So this is the way I reassemble my airbrush. I know there's some stuff out there that is specifically made for cleaning the airbrush and if you're comfortable using that then go ahead and do that. This is just stuff that I have around the house. I'm not, you know, I'm not really looking to buy additional stuff so uh, that stuff definitely works. Um, and as far as like lubrication, you know, this is oil for the compressor and I just use it as uh, lubricant, it's thin enough and it works as well so uh, just whatever you have always works just make sure that you lubricate all your stuff um, before you use it this way you don't have any issues while using the airbrush 
So in a different video, I'm gonna show you the additional equipment that I have for the airbrush, but I just wanted to show you that this particular entry level uh, dual action uh, Awada Eclipse airbrush um, has always been one of my favorites and has been a favorite for other people that I know. And uh, I've seen a lot of people start off using this particular airbrush. It's affordable and it works. So here's some of the stuff that uh, we've done using this particular airbrush. All right, and that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy the process of me cleaning up my tools. Um, you know, some people are gonna be like, oh no, you gotta use the specific stuff that, you know, is meant for the airbrush. You can't go that route. I've been using this airbrush for over 15 years. This specific one, probably for over 10 years. It's still working. I mean, it's not gonna go anywhere. Been using the same stuff over and over again. So um, yeah, it'll last a long time, you know, as long as you keep cleaning it and take care of it. So uh, that's gonna be it for now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take it easy, bye-bye.